Hi everybody, it's Agnes. I've got a viewer question from S. Okay, S says, I just watched your latest video in which you put a link to a Dandapani video. I hadn't heard of him before. Glad to have another teacher in my arsenal. In the video, he explains that when you vibrate at a certain frequency, you attract partners that match that frequency. Nothing new there. I've heard that concept before. However, how do we reconcile that with attracting back a specific X? In other words, if I take some time to work on myself, on self-love and to raise my vibration, that would put me at a different frequency than the one that led me to attract my X. How would I then attract my person back? Well, firstly, when you attracted the person in the first place, my question to you is, were you needy? And often what I see from coaching people, they weren't needy when they first met their specific person. They were relaxed, they were in a good place in their lives, or they were, you know, just carefree and playful and reasonably happy. And, you know, their life might not have been perfect, but in relation to relationships, you weren't in this massive need. You wanted, you might have wanted a relationship, but you weren't in that neediness on them. Okay. So you're saying, if I take some time to work on myself on self-love and raise my vibe, that would put me at a different frequency than the one that led me to attract my ex. Well, is it? Is it a different frequency? Were you in a happy state and you attracted your ex? And then what I see again and again and again, and I'm not saying in every case, but in most cases, the honeymoon phase is great. And then people's fears kick in, people's worries, people's suspicions, people's lack of trust, people's um, anxiety about the other person doing X, Y, Z, or the person has, say, an addiction, which we will talk about in a minute, um, then your, you being the other person that's with the specific person or the ex, you start to act out from that. So you start becoming distrusting. You start checking phones, social media, looking for evidence of what you don't want. And then as we know, what you focus on grows and it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. Okay. So you're saying that would put me in a different frequency than the one that led me to attract my ex. Well, your frequency when you're in self-love is going to attract people. Okay. Self-love is a very attractive energy. It's a vibration that people are drawn to. Even when you're feeling self-love and you walk down the street, people respond to you differently. They smile at you or they try and get from you. You will notice that too. Strangers will come and approach you. You know, it is people trying to get that light that you have within you or get that self-love that you've got within you. Obviously with strangers, you can keep them out and you just keep walking. But when you're in relationship with people, the people around you that you've been needy on in the past, when you flip your neediness into self-love, will be redrawn to you again because you're no longer trying to get love from them. They are free to love you. Okay, why people leave often is they feel that they need to be your source of love and they don't want that. That's why they become angry and often are rude to you or they disappear and block you. It is because your energy often, again, I'm not saying all the time, but this thing that emits from you is something that makes people feel trapped and they want to get away from it. They don't want that responsibility and neither is it their responsibility to make you happy for, or for you to feel loved. Okay. So that's the first part. And I want to say on your second part of your question, also, if an ex has issues that were present before you even met them, an addiction, for instance, how does that marry with the concept of everyone as you pushed out? So, 
you're saying if an ex had issues that were present before you met them, say an addiction. So let's let's use um, drugs or alcohol addiction. Okay, so someone is there, they've got that addiction. You meet them, you get together with them, you're attracted to them. You don't know that that's technically going on at the time. Um, how does that marry with the concept of everyone as you pushed out? Well, you wouldn't attract someone that had that addiction in the first place if you didn't have your own stuff going on. For example, say it's you're a man and you're attracting a woman with an addiction, alcohol or drugs, and they're engaging in it. I'm not talking about people that are recovering from it. I'm talking about people that are still engaging in the addiction. There needs to be something in you that matches that, which would be in this case, the man being attracted to the woman addict that's in active addiction, that man would most likely have the belief women are emotionally unavailable or women aren't there for me or women or I'm second best because you are second best to someone's addiction if it's pretty full blown. Okay, so if you've got the belief I'm second best, I'm not important, I don't matter and I'm not good enough, you most likely will probably attract someone that reflects that back to you. And in this case, we're using the addiction as an example. An addiction is a great way to match those beliefs of yours. You're a vibrational match. You have, I'm not a priority. I don't matter. I'm not important. And then the addict puts their addiction first and reflects that back to you. And then you're constantly trying to get their attention, but it's needing, you need to deal with those things within you, not be dealing with what they're doing. If you really want to rise up, change that within you. I am a priority. I'm loved. I'm wanted. I'm good enough. I'm secure and all those things. Of course, it's not going to happen overnight, but you change you, then the outside situation has to change. Okay. So you're saying here, would changing my mindset view of self and outlook have an impact on that for the better? Yes, definitely. But you've got to deal with really looking at the self. And what happens when people are in relationship with people with active addictions, they're so busy looking at that other person, they're not looking at the stuff within themselves. They need to be needed. They need to fix the addict. They need to change the addict. They want the addict to change. And they go into massive control manipulation and trying to force and make things happen by getting them help, by getting them into some kind of recovery, taking them to a rehab getting them to look online, whatever it is. It's like you push, push, push them to change. But the thing is, you haven't changed. So it's about really sweeping your side of the street, you see. In this example, this is just obviously one example, so you can see the mechanics of it. So this is a really good question because it's so easy to say everyone's you pushed out and then, but what about this, you know? It is whatever you have around you is a reflection of you right now. So even if someone had something prior to you, they wouldn't be vibrating around you unless you had a corresponding magnet to stick to. Okay. They've got the magnet of I'm putting my addiction first. So they need to find people that put them first so that they get what they, you know, what they need, which is to be looked after, to be people to deal with their drama, people to put out fires for them, people that um, need to be needed will be attracted to addicts, you see, or active addicts, I will say, because I've got many people I know that are recovering and they are, you know, dealing with their own stuff and they have good relationships and it works. So I hope that answers your question a little bit. It's not a clear cut thing, but I do think it's definitely possible to change again, like I've said many, many times, external situations if you really deal with what's going on within you and you change that through self-love and affirmations and your mental diet, changing your self-talk, work on it, work on it, work on it, work on it, okay? All right, that's it for today. Yes.